Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I want to do something a little different today. I'm going to do a little quick tutorial. I've seen several videos on setting this up and the video that I've seen, none of them work. At least not for me. So I thought I would uh, go through this on how I do it and uh, maybe this will work for you guys. So the gist of what I want to do here is I want to set up my throttle percent timer so that it resets whenever I plug in my quad again. So the reason for that is I like to use my throttle percent to kind of help me know when I need to land. Kind of gives me a good warning. And it's not always um, easy to remember to always reset it before you take off. And then if you don't have the time, then you got to really pay attention to your OSD. And uh, that's sometimes troublesome. So I like to have it reset easily for me. So I uh, looked on some ways of doing this and I came across a long time ago uh, Stinger Swarm's video and his setup did not work at all for me. And then here recently, Eric Canasti, um, he did one and his didn't work either, probably because he's using Crossfire and he was using some telemetry options from Crossfire that I don't have. So I'm gonna walk through how I do this. I use FreeSky, I don't use Crossfire. And um, yes, yeah, so we'll kind of walk through it. So basically it's pretty, pretty straightforward to do. Um, we'll go ahead and show you how to set up your throttle percent timer. And what that does, if you're not aware, when you're pushing on the throttle here, your timer will go down based on how far, uh, how much throttle you're using. So 50% throttle, the timer goes down at 50% of a rate. So one second becomes two seconds, you know. Um, and then if you're at full throttle, then one second is one second. See how that goes there? And at half, it's like every two seconds, it goes down one second. So that's kind of the gist of what a throttle percent does. So to set that up, you basically get onto your model here and you hit page. You go down, we'll try to do this where I can see it. You go down here to where you've got this, uh, your timer here, press enter. You press enter again and you're going to choose percent i'm not going to look through it and then you're going to come over here and you're going to set your time i use 55 seconds for myself and that's not really a 55 seconds it's 55 seconds at full throttle um is what that comes out to and that works out pretty well for me i get um i fly about three minutes on average and that works out pretty close to three minutes um it gives me a good warning when my battery is is pretty low at that point so it works well um so that's the first thing you do. It eggs a couple times here. So you get your, your throttle set up. The next thing that you want to do is you're going to set up uh, what is called a logical switch. Now you can get to those pretty easily. You can page through or you can like hold down page. I don't know if you know you can do this. You can go backwards through these. So we're going to go to our logical switches. And we're going to set up a logical switch. I didn't have any set up. So this is the first one. We press enter. And then we want to choose right here, A is greater than X. And what that means is when the value that is right here is greater than the value that is right here, then the switch is on. Okay. So A is greater than X. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to choose RSSI. Um, I don't know if you know this or not. Like you can, you can page through these like up and down. Or you can hold this down. If you hold down enter there. Hold down enter. And then you can go down here and you can choose what you want to start at. So you can go down to um, like telemetry options here. And then that gets you right into the telemetry stuff. I don't know if you know that. You can do the same thing for switches, other kind of stuff too. Um, that was a trick I learned some time back. It makes it really fast to do stuff. So once you set that, I set RSSI. This will be default to zero. So just leave that zero. And then we've got a couple other things that we set here. Well, one other thing, but you can do multiples. You can say this logical switch is only valid when it's anded with an actual another switch. Um, if it's been this way for an amount of time. Um, or if it's been this way after an amount of time. So this is the one we want to do. And what that basically means is this switch is going to be on um, only for this amount of time. So once it's triggered, it stays on just for this amount of time and then it's off until it gets triggered again. So in this case, if um, RSSI is greater than zero decibels, then um, it triggers it for a tenth of a second, and then it goes back off, and it won't trigger again until RSSI is not greater than zero and then is greater than zero. 
So in other words, it won't trigger again until we lose our SSI and then regain it. Okay. So that's kind of what we want it to do. Now, the other thing that we have to do now is after we get our logical switch, we need to set up our function to make it do something. So when this switch triggers, we want it to reset our timer. So we just hit page over here one time. You don't hold it down. Hit it one time, and we're going to choose a special function. And we want to choose um, our L01. And then whenever it's active, we come over here, we want to choose reset. You can go up and down on that. Um, and then we're going to pick timer one, and then basically enable that. So you just click that. And that is all there is to it. So now, watch what it does here. I'll show you. So right now, my quad is unplugged. Let me get here so you can see it here. No battery, right? Let's come back over here in this. I'm going to plug in the battery here. RF signal critical. Boom. Reset. Right. right. Make sure it stays plugged in there. And then I'm going to give it some throttle here. And you'll see the timer goes down. Blah, blah, blah. Right. You use it. Telemetry lost. Unplug the battery, and I'm going to plug the battery back in again. Telemetry Boom. recovered. Boom. Reset. And that, Telemetry lost. that is all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, if you did hit that like, uh, like button, if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Go have a great day. Go do something inspiring for somebody. Go help somebody out with something. And I will see you guys later. Peace.